again. Welcome to Racks Infotech. In this video, I'm going to share you a couple of uh, Oracle data pump interview question and answers. Okay, I'm going to divide this uh, into two or three parts. So I'll, I used to cover all the questions related to the data pump. For freshers and experienced uh, professionals, they can able to uh, use this. I mean, these questions will be useful for them as well. Okay, first question. What is Oracle Data Pump? Oracle Data Pump is a high-speed data movement utility used for loading and unloading the data and metadata in Oracle database. Simple format. Like if you want to take a uh, data from existing database, suppose my database is this one, production. I need only specific information or piece of information from this database. Okay, I want to take it from here and then I need to import into another like another production or another non-production, anything. Prod or non-prod, NP. Any of that. Only, I don't want like it's kind of 10 terabytes of databases there. Out of that, I required only 1 GB data. I don't need uh, all the 10 terabytes of database. At that time, I, need, I can use this data pump utility. Uh, I can take 1 GB data from here, the piece of data, and then that I can copy uh, from this server to this server and here I can import it only 1 GB data. So to take 1 GB or specific files backup, we can use this data pump. There we have a couple of utilities. We will cover those questions in upcoming like uh, few slides. Okay. For this purpose only we are going to take it. So one database is to another database. We are going to take the backups by using this data pump utility. We have our tools also, I'll cover those things. And this data pump has been introduced Oracle 10G onwards. Before 10G, we are using traditional backups. This data pump jobs, we call it as EXPDP. I'll, tell, I'll cover you in a few slides, leave it. So this will provide you advanced feature compared to your traditional export and import utilities. Earlier, before 10G, we are using export and import normal traditional utilities. But now from 10G onwards, we are using uh, new data pump features and utilities. I'll cover you tho cover those things. And what is the use of data pump and compared to your previous those things, we will cover it in a few slides. Yeah. What are the components of Oracle data pump? Just before I explained you on a diagram, right? So we need to take a data from existing database to one database to another database. I need to copy and there I need to import. For that, to taking the backup, we required one component that is EXPDP, export data pump. This one introduced from 10G onwards. Before 10G, we have only EXP. There is no DP extension, only EXP utility to get the data or un unload the data from the existing database. From 10G onwards, we have data pump. Okay. Two primary components, one is export utility that is EXPDP, another one is import utility that is IMP DP, data pump, DP, EXP means export, DP means data pump, IMP means import, DP means data pump. And why we need to use this EXPDP we can use to unload data and metadata from Oracle databases. By using this, we can load the data and metadata into our databases. For that purpose, we are going to use that. Okay, that is the question. So these two are the utilities where we are going to use in our data pump. In traditional, uh, we are using EXP and IMP utilities. But in a data pump, we are using EXPDP, IMPDP. Oh, next question. What are, all, what are the main components? What are all the main components? What are... What are all the main components of data pump? As I said, in our data pump, export, import, this one, EXPDP, IMPDP, and other things we are having, data pump API, data pump job infrastructure we used to have. In data pump, we have two, I mean, we have a couple of uh, features added to capture the job status, pass the job, resume the jobs, monitoring the jobs, like, Earlier in traditional, we don't have that kind of option like uh, there is no pass in between while you are exporting something, you cannot pass that export option or export 
process but we have in data pump that options is there so these two are all the another components data pump api and data pump job infrastructure this will take care of managing and controlling our execution of data pump jobs this api will allows programmatic control or the data pump operations. If you want to take how it is going to execute EXPDP, how it needs to work out, IMPDP, how it needs to work out. This based upon this API calls, it will take care of it. We already gone through it, right? EXPDP and IP. Use the data to extract the data and metadata from your source. By using import tool, we can load the data and metadata to your target databases. Okay, next question. Difference between your traditional export and import and data pump. This simply we can say exp, exp dp. What is the difference between these two commands? IMP, IMP dp. What is the difference between exp and exp dp? IMP and IMP dp. This exp and IMP utilities are your traditional uh, export and import uh, tools. Exp dp and IMP dp are the data pump tools from 10g onwards we are using these tools and what is the difference why i need to use this instead of exp why i need to use expdp so data pump is significantly faster whatever the export you are going to take by using this command it will be faster than this one we have couple of advantages i'll cover over there and transformation of compared to your traditional utilities this expdp and impdp are the fastest and large volume of data if you want to take you can easily or quick manner you can do it okay data pump is significantly faster can move larger volumes of data and provides more options for data movement data movement from source to target databases and next question advantages yeah the same question if somebody will ask you uh, what is the advantages of your expdp or data pump utilities compared to your traditional things even these two are similar but yeah if you want to give a short answer you can give this or else if you want to give like a bit uh, in depth of the answers traditional and the data pump traditional export and import and data pump export and imports uh, differences or advantages what data pump advantages if somebody will ask you you can answer this in data pump we are having parallel processing capability option like for faster data movement like we are using parallel option that is not exist in your traditional export and import and better management I mean manageability and monitoring compared to exp normal export and import in data pump we are having couple of extra views where we can able to manage and monitor our jobs and we don't have exclude and include options uh, in our normal export and import, but in data pump, we are going to, this ability is to ex exclude and include specific object during export and import options. And some of the security options are there and including better and faster performance compared to your traditional export and import, data pump jobs are very faster and better performance, fast performance, it will be provided. And support for the network based exports and imports like data pump uh, DB links by using DB links also we can able to export and import that is uh, there in our data pump. And also the ability to selectively export and import data specific information if you want to export and then import that is also possible in data pump compared to your traditional export and import. These are all the benefits in your data pump. Okay, now we can see the syntax for export and import. Let me go through it. Basic syntax, if you want to run export expdp command, how you need to run? And uh, if you want to do the import command, how you need to do? For export, you can use expdp. After that, you can use admin user like system user and password. Then the directory is mandatory. One of the prerequisites to take export and imports, you should have a directory with read write permissions. Then only you can able to do that. And this directory, we need where your dump files are going to store. And the dump file name, if you are taking a schema level or table level or a full database level, according to that, you can name it here. Dot DMP is the format of your dump file. 
and the log file name. If you mention or not mention, that is fine, but it will create automatically. If you want to, uh, I mean, automatically means this name will be automatically created. If you want to mention specific name for that log, you can mention log file equal to. And if you want to do the schema level export, you can mention schema. Okay, I'll explain those things in table schema level, table level, full in our, uh, in our next video or next to next. That is the command for your uh, export. And import same thing by using IMPDP, we are going to load the data to target. User, you can use the same like system user and the directory, we required and target system also on directory. There you need to place your dump file. This file you need to place into it, this location and then give this directory location and give the dump file name, same name. This dump file name here you need to give and the log file name if you want to give differently, differently you can mention. Then if you are going to do the existing schema, source and target, you have the same schemas and all. You can use remap schema option, original schema to new schema name. That I'll explain you what is mean by the re remap schema. But yeah, this is just a command how you need to do it without mentioning, like without remapping and other thing. You can use still this part for your import. You can use this for your export, but which kind of backup it is going to take fully equal to why you can mention. Okay. In that way we are going to take it. These were the commands how we are going to take the backups in data pump. And what is the data pump compression? How do you enable it during export option? It's very simple and straightforward. Data pump compression reduce the size. Compression means suppose you are having 10 GB data. You mean, but storage is you are having only six, five to six GB free space is there. At that time, if you can use this compression option, that 10 GB will compress to five to six GB. That is sufficient, right? To reduce the export dump file uh, by compressing the data being exported while you are going to export it, you can use this option. To en enable this compression during the export, you can use compression parameter values. All information are only data. Either all or data only you can use. See, this is the command, how you are going to use the compression option, expdp, username and password, directory, dump file location, log file, compression equal to all. This is the option where you need to use. If you want to do only for data compression, do data underscore only. Or else if you want to compress everything, structure, data and everything, you can mention all. Okay, next. How can you monitor the progress of your Oracle data value? Suppose you have uh, entered this command, you have executed. It is going on like it's kind of 10 terabytes database. You are going to take it, okay? 10 terabytes means it may take a lot of time. It is not complete within half an hour or one hour. It may take a couple of hours, four hours, five hours or six hours. During that time, how much percentage is completed and uh, it is running or not, those we need to monitor it. So in data pump, we have a couple of views by using DB underscore data pump jobs, we can able to monitor or user data pump jobs view. You will get to know active data pump jobs information by using these two views, we can able to monitor. And also we can able to view the status of export and import commands, uh, the status parameter. We have the status parameter, which is included that also by using the status command, we can able to view it. Another way is log files. See, here we have generated the log file name, right? By monitoring this log file also, we can able to see the status of those export and import jobs. So three, three ways we can able to view it. And then what is the purpose of network link? Network link means it's a database link where you are going to use as part of your data pump. Network link parameter used, the network link parameter is used in data pump to perform network based export or import jobs or operations. It specifies the database link to the source or target database where the data will be exported from or imported into. Your source database to target database, you don't need to manually copy those dump files and all, but based upon this network link, you can able to once you have generated the dump file on source and target side, if you want to import it, no need to copy the dump file from here to there. Use the network link to do that. Okay. To reduce this copy, if you want to take like 10 GB of uh, one terabytes uh, backup from one server to another server, it will take time. 
But in case of network link, if you are using, no need to copy directly, it will fetch it from the source to target or target to source, vice versa, way it is going through. Suppose if you want to do the import, which is there on source, import where we need to do on target side. Export, we are going to do it from where you need to pull the data. Okay, Un unload the data, that is export. So import, we are going to do it on target side. So target side, you can use this command, username and password and use the network link option, give the database link name. Source uh, database you have created on database link, that link name you can give it here. Based upon that, it will import that information, whichever it is there on source. This is the command, how we are going to use the network link option. And what are the different modes of database? Our data pump export we are having in data pump exports we're having full mode full equal to yes or no schema level if you want to export the schema level use the schemas equal to our table space level use the tables option only specific tables the dependent uh, dependent objects it is going to take it up full means all everything entire database it is going to take schema means specific schemas one two three four five six whatever the schemas you can use the schema option or specific table level object like you can take table level also. So these many modes we are having full schema and table level three modes we are having. Okay, that's all about this uh, part. Uh, if we I mean further questions I'm going to cover in different video. So if you are not yet subscribed our uh, YouTube channel Racks Infotech, you can subscribe there. Uh, you will get a lot of DB related stuff. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day.